Good day everyone. Welcome to another discussion of reliability tests. So for today's discussion, we'll be uh, talking about test retests for measure of stability using person R. If we uh, go back to uh, the discussion of type of reliability measure, there are measure of stability, measure of equivalence, measure of stability and equivalence, and measure of internal consistency. So for today's discussion, we'll be talking about test retests using the statistical measure person R. The procedure is to simply give a test twice to the same group of respondents or students with any time interval between sets from several minutes to several years. So for this uh, example one, this test is for the reliability of a teacher made test using the statistical measure person R, or we normally call it the person product moment of correlation. So let X be the first administration or the test, and let Y be the second administration of the test or what we call the retest. So this is uh, the first uh, uh, test. And this one is the retest. So all of this are the data collected uh, after you have administered the test. Again, X here is the result of the test. Okay, the scores of the test, and then Y variable is the score of the retest. So the formula is uh, quite long, but uh, to explain this, um, well, we have to uh, create a table where we can uh, gather the value for, for example, uh, summation of x, y. That means we get the product of x and y, and then we get the sum. So that's the one that we put it here. Okay. Then we also have the summation of x. So we have to add all this to get the summation of the x or the score of the first administration. Then summation of y is, uh, of course, add all these values to get the summation of y. The denominator is actually in uh, enclosed in a big uh, uh, radical sign. So this is a square root of, uh, we have here the product of the two. Okay, so um, we have x squared or summation of x squared. So that's why we have a column here for x squared, meaning we multiply this to itself. Okay. And then uh, we'll need the summation of x, summation of x, so the summation of x, and we also square it in this uh, value. Similarly, for the second administration of the, or the scores in the second administration of the test, we'll be needing the summation of y squared. So this one is y squared. Summation is located here. We get the sum of all the values um, in this column. Okay. So, so again, to emphasize, n is the number of respondents or examinees. So all n here should be 15. And then x are actually the scores. So that's are the scores of the test or the result of the first administration of the test. And why here are the scores of the retest? So to start, we already have our uh, table. We get the value of x squared. So simply 50 is multiplied to itself. So that's in cell B8 multiplied, that's asterisk. To itself okay so that's 2500 then to uh, copy the formula you simply drag it notice the change of the cursor drag it down until respondent 15 okay so you all have the result similarly for y squared it's equals this is the cell that you need to square so 51 multiplied to 51 so that's uh, cell C8 multiplied to cell C8. Okay. Then to copy the formula, simply drag 
when the cursor changes to the, the uh, small uh, black cross. So notice if I look uh, if I look at uh, this uh, uh, cell E9, so C9 is multiplied to C9. Cell C9 is multiplied to C9. So that's 42 times 42 is equal to 1764. So everything uh, that we did here eh, are all uh, correct because we have made the formula under Microsoft Excel. Now to get the product of uh, X and Y or the result of the test and the reset, uh, retest, we put equal sign multiplied B8 is multiplied now to C8. So 51 is multiplied to 51. That's uh, cell B8 and cell C8. Press enter. And we now have the product of these two. So to get the product of the remaining uh, values, we drag the formula again. We apply the same formula or same rule to all of these cells. So there you have it. We're able to make some arithmetic of uh, this uh, values. Now, we need to complete what we need so we can simplify or we can use our formula. So we are looking for summations, okay? Summation of x. Okay, so simply press equal sign, look for sum or summation. And then locate all data included in the result of or in the um, X column or the result of the first administration. Press enter. Okay, and you have your result 677. Second column, summation of Y, press equal sign and then look for sum. And then uh, select all that is included under your uh, result for the second administration or of the test. So press enter and you have 670. Okay, let me just uh, put it in the center and apply both. Similarly with the rest, okay, uh, instead of uh, repeating my procedure, I can simply drag this. Okay, drag the formula and it will apply on the rest of these columns. Okay, so meaning the summation of uh, x squared is uh, 30,817, summation of y squared is 30,184, and uh, summation of the product of x and y is 30,495. So I, I am complete with the, the necessary values that I'm uh, going to be uh, placing in my formula. Okay, so let's start with uh, putting the values. So first, n is basically 15. So this is n. That is 15. Okay. Next, summation of xy. So this is summation of xy. That's 30,495. 30,495. Okay, there you go. The next minus summation of x. Summation of x is 667. So that's 677 rather. Okay. Next, summation of y. Summation of y is 670. 670. There you go. So I'm complete with my numerator. We now go to the denominator under the radical sign. So we're looking for n. That's the number of respondents or students. So that's 15. Next is the summation of x squared. So x squared summation is 30,817. Okay. Next, summation of x summation of x is 677 
77 okay summation of x and then we have the square and then next n is 15 and then summation of y summation of y squared rather y squared so this is 30,000 30,184 and then the next value summation of y in close parenthesis summation of y is 670 okay so what's the difference of summation of x squared without the parenthesis and summation of x squared with the parenthesis? So notice uh, that this x squared is part of this whole summation. That's why the value of this area is the one with squared, summation of x squared. This one is separate, meaning this summation of x 677 should be multiplied to itself 677 that's why this one is 677 squared okay so when I pull up my calculator okay uh, for me not to get confused I'll get the product of this uh, first uh, uh, numbers on the numerator that's 15 multiplied to 30,000 495 enter and my result I'll put it here so that's 457,425 so that's 457,425 okay check that's 457,425 next to get the product of this so I have 677 multiplied to 670 and that would be 453590 and that's uh, 453450 let me check if my input is correct 453 Five nine zero. Sorry, this is this should be five nine zero. Let me change that to five nine zero. There you go. Four five three five nine zero. Okay, so I'm clear with the numerator. Now I proceed to the numerator. I'll get the simplified value of this, okay? The one in the bracket values, okay? Sorry, that's 15 So let me go back Okay, that's 15 times 30,817 minus 677 and that is squared okay enter that's 15 times 30,800 minus uh, 677 squared that's 3,926 so the value is 3,900 26 so I'm done with the, the value of, uh, in inside the bracket first bracket second bracket now let's compute for that this is 15 times 30,184 minus 670 squared there you go enter so that's 15,000 or 15 times 30,184 minus 670 squared. The result is 3,860. So that's 3860. Okay. 
just to check that's 3860 all right so um, I was able to uh, simplify uh, this uh, complicated numbers into a simpler numbers okay such that if I uh, put this on my calculator okay so you have to understand or you have to know your skill in using your calculator okay so I'll uh, make use of my calculator first I'm gonna simplify the numerator that's 45 7 4 2 5 minus 4 5 3 5 9 0 enter the result is 13,835. So if I have 13,835, 13,800 divided by the square root of the product of these two. So the square root of 3, 9, 2, 6 times 3, 8, six zero so again this is my numerator it's the result of the difference of uh, uh, these uh, values and divided by my denominator so my decimal output is 3.55 is this correct Is this correct? Okay, so I notice a mistake on my numerator. This isn't 13,000. It should be 3,835. The difference of uh, our numerator values, 4, 5, 7, 4, 2, 5, and 4, 5, 3, 5, 9, 0 should be 3, 8, uh, 3, 5. So if I press enter, my result is 0.985 rounded off to two decimal place that's 0 0.99 okay so finally I got my result it's 0 0.99 it's a similar value to uh, my other example with the same uh, uh, row data um, but this time we made use of the uh, person R or person product moment calculation. So how do we interpret this? For reliability, take note again that uh, to pass a reliability uh, test or teacher made test, result should be 0.85 and above. So our result is actually more than uh, the minimum requirement. It's very high. Um, interpretation is very high. So interpretation the R value is 0.99 denoting a very high relationship okay so this implies that if the student got a very high score in tests then um, so again the interpretation the R value is 0.99 denotes a very high relationship. This implies that the student who got very high score in the first administration of the test got very high as well in the second administration of the test. And those students who got low in the test got uh, low in the retest as well. So hence, our test, the teacher-made test, is highly reliable. So there you have it. Um, this is reliability test test retest for measure of stability using personal. Thank you for watching.